You're now tuned in to the Lady Charmaine Live Show, and I'm your host, Lady Charmaine. And as always, I got another great interview for you today, and I'll tell you who it is coming up right after this. My guest today is an actor and producer who has starred in films and television shows like Lincoln Heights, Grimm, The Hate You Give, Mike, and Fences. And he is here today to talk about the second season of Star's hit show, BMF, Black Mafia Family. Help me welcome to the Lady Charmaine Live show, Mr. Russell Hornsby. Welcome to the show. Lady C, thank you so much. Happy to be here. Oh, I'm so glad you are here. Well, first, I want to say Happy New Year to you. Likewise, to you as well, love. Thank you. And now I hear there are some um, congratulations. I heard that last week you were nominated for an NAACP Image Award for your role as Don King in Hulu's limited series, Mike. Congratulations. Thank you. Very excited about that. A lot of, uh, a lot of hard work went into that. And uh, it's great to be acknowledged by the community for your work. Yes, and then I also heard that BMF was picked up for a third season after the second episode of season two. Congratulations. How exciting is that? It's, no, it's very exciting. First, it's it's great, you know, any actor, it's great to have continuous employment, that's first and foremost. Mm-hmm. But it's also good to go back home. It's good to go back to work and parts and in people that are familiar to you and that you, you know, that you love to work with and and work that you love to do. So I'm very excited about season three. Well, well I, you know, it's always nice to know that you got some more checks coming. Let's let, let's talk about that. When you know, it's like, okay, I got a few more yeah, checks let's, on let's, the way. Let's get that real, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> my, my wife keeps the warm, keeps the warm house when she knows Dave's coming home. Amen. You know I mean? <laughs> can, I, can I get an amen to that? But I also heard that you are a Bay Area native like myself, because I was born and raised in Richmond, California. And I heard you was from the Bay Area. Born and raised in Oakland. Uh, you know, mom still lives, lives still lives in Oakland, the same house I, I grew up in, uh, right around, right near the Grand Lake Theater. Yeah, well, that's why I got married across the street. Uh, from, well, of course, you know Lake Mary, and I got married right across the street over at the Scottish Rite, which I'm sure you're familiar with. So we are uh, both oh, Bay Area yeah, natives. Many, many winter balls. All right. <laughs> Those yes, okay. yeah, you know. And yeah. wait, wait a minute. How about those Niners, yeah. though? Since you're from the Bay, what you think about those Niners? Oh, oh, all day, Bang, Bang, Niner gang. That's me, <laughs> I know that's, that's right. That's since I was since I was a youth, and it's funny, people always thinking I was like the Raiders because I was from Oakland. But mm-hmm. the, when I came up, I was in second grade when the Niners won their first Super Bowl, and the, the Raiders were gone. Mm-hmm. Remember the catch that, that sees that first season. Raiders were gone. I'm like, hey, I'm an Otter fan. I Never know, that's before. right. <laughs> that's what I think when they moved to L.A. or something like that back in the day. <laughs> and and, and they left us, so right. everybody became that's Niners it. fans. <laughs> well, I know that BMF is in its uh, second season. And uh, right now, tomorrow night is going to be the third episode. But one thing I love about uh, BMF, but first I want to say something about you. You, to me, are like the new dad. Because the father that you played in The Hate You Give, also in Lincoln Heights, and also the father in BMF, you show a strong black man in the household, which is so refreshing to see on television. So I just want to say thank you for the roles that you take and the character that you play in the position that you play in the family. So I just want to say thank you for the good roles that you pick. No, I, I appreciate that so much. But you know what, though? I have to say this, uh, Lacey, is that it's a reflection of the men that raised me, mm. you know, and, and I grew up in Oakland and they, and the saying goes, there was a time when boats were made of wood and men were made of steel. Mm. And so I'm ref- Charles Fennery or, or Eddie Sutton, you know what I mean? They, they are reflecting the men that I grew up with, the men that, that saw, that helped light my path. Mm. You know what I mean? These, these strong brothers that got up and went to work every day, these mm-hmm. strong brothers that got up and they were part of the public works. They were male people. They were construction workers. They were coaches. All of that. I grew up without a father, but I saw the I saw a true strong image of the black man and the black father mm. at, when I was growing up. And so, to me, 
it has always been my love letter to those men, to those brothers that raised me in hopes to give, you know, these young people a glimpse of what manhood can be like. Mm. That's beautiful. That is, I mean, for you to not have been raised with a father and to be able to play the characters that you do, that really speaks a lot. And when I think about BMF, it is a reflection of the family. And when I thought about it, I'm like, they deal with teenage pregnancy, drugs, violence, also father son <laughs> relationships, yep. the rebellious child, the favorite child, which a lot of people don't want to talk about. Also just dealing with financial right. burdens regarding just supplying for simple things and needs such as bras that you need in the family you guys deal with marital issues you even broke out last week with the intimacy issues i mean it's just real life in a real family and how we deal with these situations and so how did you prepare for your role as charles flannery did you ever get a chance to talk to big meech i did i had a i had a brief opportunity to talk to big meech i've talked to uh southwest t uh, I had an opportunity to talk to both uh, the sister, Nicole, and the mother, mm -hmm. uh, Miss Flinnery. Um, we lost uh, the father in, in 2017, but I got a chance just to hear about their life growing up, what it was like in the household, and also the love that the, the parents had for each other. You know, she told me, you know, even though stuff went down and went left every once in a while, she said, listen, we were, we were friends. Mm -hmm. I loved him. He loved me, and we just saw different. We just had some differences, but we still love each other deeply, and that just shows a, a sense of mutual respect and love that they have for each other, even though you know things shifted, you know, mm -hmm. towards the end. Mm -hmm. Now, what can we expect to see in season two? Well, you know, as you as we talk about, you know, the first two episodes deal with. Um, I think it's really it's about what money, how money changes you, mm -hmm. how money. Uh, changes who you are, um, and it reveals who you are. And it's, that, that'll start to come to light. I think also we're dealing with more deep-seated issues within the family and within uh, in the marriage. You know, And it's talking about uh, uh, how, in all different ways, the fraying of um, relationships, intimate mm -hmm. relationships, you know, um, and how a lack of communication brings about. And also the dearth of opportunity, the dearth of money, right? right. Because, you know, Charles being as proud as he is, he's telling his boys, I don't want that money because of where it came from. It's dirty. Mm -hmm. But also there's a domino effect when you can't keep, you know, pay the, the light bill, when you mm -hmm. can't pay the mortgage, when the roof needs fixing. There is a domino effect in the adverse when those things begin to happen. And when that happens, that begins to affect the marriage, the relationship, and the communication. Mm -hmm. And there's a big fallout from that mm. that we'll be able to, that will, uh, audiences will bear witness to. That'll be dramatic and fascinating, I feel. Mm. Okay, well, I can't wait because I'll be watching, of course, tomorrow night. <laughs> and I want to remind the audience to be sure to tune in to Stars tomorrow night for the third episode in the second season of BMF Black Mafia Family. And I want to say thank you so much for coming on the show, Russell. And I definitely look forward to having you back. And congratulations on your accomplishments. My pleasure, Lacey. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Thank you. Bye-bye.